Who you marry might be the most important decision of your life, but it can also be the least rational. Maybe loneliness plays a role, maybe lust, maybe forces we don't grasp at all. It's guesswork and blind intuition. He was quite excited and kept saying, I can't wait to be married to you and just, I'm so in love with you and so on. I was a little more nervous. Deborah is a successful interior designer. She tells everybody about the handsome doctor she met online who seems to live only for her. We would take a walk, he would hold my hand and want to hear all about my day. John makes her feel alive again. He came off as the perfect husband. But her family doesn't like John. To be honest, his story about having the three cars in the house, it didn't make a lot of sense to me. I called BS on that. Like why does a practicing anesthesiologist never seem to have any money? When he leaves the house in his blue surgical scrubs, where does he go all day? I would try to look him in the eye and he would try to look away. So that just kind of says something about somebody. John tells her the problem is with her children. They're spoiled, trying to sabotage her happiness. They want her money. And her psychologist tells her she needs to establish boundaries with her children. But is there something about John's past he's trying to hide? I opened the mailbox and there was a letter from a guy from Jill. I thought, why is he getting a letter from someone from, from Jill? Devil's got the boyfriend. He's got the one who said he'd always love you. He'd never leave you. From the Los Angeles Times and Wondery, this is Dirty John, a new podcast premiering this fall. I'm Christopher Gofford, a reporter with the LA Times. I got a big smile on my face, and you know why? Why, John? Because trust me. Just trust me. Just why? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it don't happen. You will understand when the time comes. Dirty John is a story about seduction and deception. It's about family and forgiveness, and the borderland between love and death. It's the kind of thing where you look at somebody and you swear, you swear you can hear, you can literally hear the seething cauldron that's inside their brain. Trust you what? Subscribe to Dirty John on Apple Podcasts or your favorite listening app.